hi guys welcome back to the channel so this is gonna be another like quick video it's basically just a huge announcement this summer i just found out that i'm gonna be living slash moving to china for a month and it's gonna be so exciting yay so i'm just gonna give y'all a quick rundown because i'm doing all this for free so yeah i'm moving there for free so i'm gonna tell you guys exactly how i did it and the process. I heard about this program through my college. I go to MSU. Yay. Michigan State, the one and the only Spartans. Um, basically, I heard about the program. It was called CRCC Asia. Super excited about it. But I had got into a three-month program, actually. But it was really, not really expensive. It wasn't that expensive, but it was more expensive than me, a college student, could pay for. So I was looking for scholarships and stuff, and I stumbled across this Simone Sanders scholarship. Y'all should look home girl up she's amazing but um I was like okay let me apply for it but then someone was like if you apply for this you can't apply for something you can't be in the other program so you have to drop it and I was like oh my gosh it's kind of a risk because I don't know if I'm gonna get it so I kept the other one they allowed me to keep the other one until I got the scholarship so basically the scholarship pays for my flight there my apartment they have like on-site like um person like if I ever like feel like I'm not safe or if I ever need help or I'm like freaking out or having an anxiety attack, literally whatever I need, there's a person there for it. They also work with companies to find me a great internships while I'm there. So I'm going to be working in my field, blase, blase. It's an amazing program. And I get, they also going to like arrange like tours and stuff like that because sometimes you can get scammed trying to figure that stuff out by yourself. But it's just an all around amazing program. Like it's a well-rounded, like I get to go there, I get to work in my field, get experience. So... Um, this is kind of the process so I applied to it and I heard and then I heard back a little bit after and I got an interview in the application they ask about your involvement in the community because the Simone Sanders scholarship was specifically for black students they also do one for students with disabilities and Jewish students it's like for free yes so I applied I work I think a lot within the black community here on campus um, uh, it's my job um, I'm in a part of the Black Alumni Association where I'm the student president. So all these other kinds of things. Like I'm very involved in the black community. So, oh, I'm glowing. Okay. So they were like, okay, we like you. Let's do an interview. I met a guy named Tyler and he did my interview and it was amazing. It was so much fun. We had like a really great time talking. We like started to veer a little bit but like overall he was like a great person and I felt like I did really good on the interview and we talked about like my involvement. We talked about like what I could feel like I could do for the program, all these other kinds of things. Asked some questions, which is like my number one interview tip is to always ask a really good question. I was like, okay, bye. And I like try not to get my hopes up because like they, I was like, I don't know, like anywhere between 10 and 20 people like applying for this one scholarship. So I was like, okay. And then I got an email from Tyler and it was like, hey, can you just confirm some information with me really quickly? Can you hop into like the interview channel? And I was like, why do, you need to conf why do I need to get an, a video channel to confirm information, like to confirm my email when you're emailing me? But <laughs> I wasn't thinking about that at the time. I was just like, okay, like, like to, this is the week to hear from them and I haven't, so maybe they're just putting me on their newsletter. So I hopped in there and he's like, so is your name Mayana? And I'm like, yeah, my name is Mayana. He's like, and your birthday is blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, this is my birthday. He's like, oh, and also you got it. And I was like, literally, if y'all know, I'm really emotional. So I was like trying to hold in tears because I was crying. And I was like, mm hmm And when I'm trying to hold in tears, I literally bite my lip to like get myself to stop. So I'll be like, but yeah. Okay, thank you. Trying to be professional and such. I was like, thank you. I'm going to do everything that you need me to do and blah, blah, blah. And make sure I get my visa, blah, blah. By the way, they take care of your visa. They pay for it, literally everything. And I was like, okay, like I'm going to ask you questions, blah, blah, blah. And like get back to you, all this other stuff. Of course, I accepted and everything. And then I hung up the phone. And then I called my mom. And then I cried. Then I called my dad. I cried. And then I called my sister and I cried because I cry a lot because I'm a cancer. And yeah. 
now they like literally like last week they like got my flights booked like they're talking to people about my internship and like I just have to send them my resume and they're like finding people that would want to like work with me and then I just have to do another interview and like they're getting like my apartment accommodation the only downside is that I can't bring my cat but like I didn't expect to be able to bring my cat do y'all want to see my cat again we can't bring mochi we can't bring mozzarella but honestly, that's okay because it's worth it. Say hi. Yeah, he's not in the mood because I have his shoes on because I made him go outside today. So um, we're getting everything worked out. I'm really excited about the whole process because I can't wait. Like it's one thing to like go over there and spend your own money and there's like an extra level of pressure because you're like, I can't screw this up. And like, I still feel like I can't screw this up. But like, it's a, it's a little bit of an ease on your mind where you're not worried about like saving up for your flight because you potentially cannot go. So, I just a really nice ease of mind. I'm keeping my GPA up. Um, just keeping it all, all around, keeping it together, you know? I'm just excited, like, excited to try the food. The one thing I've decided to do is not like have any food restrictions. Usually I'm pretty strict about what I eat because like I am but I'm gonna like let go of all of those because I really want to immerse myself into the culture and everything and like really try all the foods and everything so yeah but also I'm gonna have like a China series on my YouTube channel which I'm super excited about but like I'm still figuring out what that's gonna look like just because you know you don't want to be one of those YouTubers who are like I'm moving to China and then every single thing after that is like eating food with my Chinese boyfriend um dating in china you know like they're so annoying it's very fetish like it's very disrespectful so navigating that's going to be interesting and just trying to be respectful of the culture while also getting my vlogs and stuff in and like having a good time and balancing work and fun is going to be an interesting dynamic but like i like to work all the time so we'll see yeah but if you have any questions or tips because I've been looking up so many tips if you have anything literally comment anything below if we can get this video to like 20 likes I'll do something crazy I don't know what I'm gonna do but yeah I'll see y'all next week we out